Good morning, folks. We're watching the departure of a truly memorable sunspot group bottom right and its goodbye solar flares. We've got our final Hurricane Irma forecast today, including how we know it is about to go north after doing nothing but track west across the water. We've got some interesting news articles as well, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the dark northern coronal hole encroaching, and we can also see that two of the goodbye flares bottom right appear to have released CMEs. Since the sunspots are turning towards the far side and these SDO views are from Earth's orbit, we can tell that the ejections in the solar flares were virtually 90 degrees off from Earth's direction. They will miss Earth's magnetic field. We also have been eyeing some umbral magnetic fields incoming over the eastern limb. The sunspot is visible now as well and appears as alone as he's been quiet. Does have some plasma filaments flanking him. Those do look a bit unstable. So we've been tracking Hurricane Irma now for 10 days, eyes on the long cloud line north of it. I vividly remember back on September 3rd when all models had this thing clipping eastern Florida and then the Georgia and South Carolina coastlines. Of course, that has shifted west and west and more west day by day until finally we find the monster hurricane just south of Florida, still having tracked west, and now that it is connected with the cloud line you noticed earlier to the north, it's going to head that way, north. That's the cause. Indeed, the models have virtually no disagreement now, and there is nothing the sun can do to change this track now that it's met the convergence line of clouds pulling it north. Eyes open, everyone. Here she comes. Let's go back quickly to that 8.1 earthquake that killed dozens of people in Mexico two mornings ago. You'll remember we indeed had that area on alert, and that was due to lithospheric and atmospheric factors, including outgoing long-wave radiation thermal emission, and that's what this paper is discussing, the surface heat anomalies. Now more than 10 papers exist on that topic. Speaking of quakes, we have at least one big one on deck in the coming days due to coupling from these non-Earth-directed CMEs last night, and the Earth-facing coronal hole on the north, whose IMF and kinetic alpha waves began affecting Earth tonight. Last but not least, Thompson, Sear, Posner, and the project lead of the Cosmo K coronagraph, Joan Burkpile, have released a perfectly timed manuscript on automatic CME and radiation storm detection from the ground as opposed to satellites. Their device and algorithm are already working. One of those names will be vitally important in the coming days, along with the end of pre-registration for Observing the Frontier 2018. Everything from space weather health effects to the magnetic reversal and GMOs. See you in the desert. We've got your wind maps, null school water run, and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.